September 22nd, 2015. How you doing? How you living? <laughs> so today is Tuesday and it was a very pretty relaxed day, right? I didn't do much of anything. I did some like shopping this morning and then um what else did I do? And we went to IHOP in the afternoon, Ray and I. Yeah. went to um, IHOP and then that's it we did some more like walking into stores walking in and out a store so today was a very relaxed day um, it's good to talk to you guys it's been a while <laughs> I have to get my life together and get back into the swing of vlogging it's like once you get out of the rhythm it's I remember I used to be so paranoid about missing a vlog now it's like a different story <laughs> I used to be so paranoid when I'd like go to, you know, when I finish up a vlog and I didn't have internet service or whatever and I just, I drive a distance. I drive 30 minutes if it meant getting some good Wi-Fi and getting the vlog out on time. But these days, you gotta forgive me. We're gonna, we're gonna get our lives together. But um, to catch you up, I mean, there hasn't been too much going on. I mean, there's some other stuff. There are a few things that, you know, you know. I don't feel comfortable sharing just yet with you guys, but, you know, hopefully soon. But, you know, I've done a, a, a few cool things. Ray and I, we went to, um, what's that place the other day we went to? Sugar Factory. The Sugar Factory. We're outside in the meatpacking district and we're just... What's your cellular service? We're just enjoying the day out. We actually went out to eat. Look at Patricia. She's <laughs> periscoping. <laughs> She doesn't even care periscope. about you guys. <laughs> no, she does. I'm lying. She's been periscoping a lot, guys. And I recommend that you get on her periscope and you follow oh, her because he says the connection's on fleet. Daily, she Sorry. has been giving you guys inspiration on periscope. She actually started a um, September step out challenge, which is where you step out on faith step and you out. step out and you do something that you haven't done before. So get on periscope, join the movement. It's step out September, and we're stepping out. If there's anything that you want to do that you haven't done, this is the time to do it. Um, look at the Periscope on fleek. Patricia, at least say hi. Hi. Hey, hey guys. What's up? What's up? What's up? Uh, you guys know I love y'all, but you know, lately, it's been rough. But we here, New York City, 14th Street, having a good time. Anyways, hey, there's a whole guys. bunch of you guys that's already on Periscope that follows her. And I recommend anybody that's not on it to get on it. Every night she tries to come in. And she tries to talk to you guys about life and things that's going on. And I just want you guys to just reach out and do it. We're actually by a Sephora. So maybe Patricia will be nice enough to go no. do a little Sephora no. trip with us. No. Let's see. No. <laughs> She's actually been trying to be very good. She's been trying to be good. Who's Tony? Wait a minute. Which Tony? <laughs> oh. Sephora is right here, so guys, I don't know. But we're about to finish periscoping. And until next time, peace, love, and blessings. Patricia loves you, and I love you too. Awesome drinks. Like, we have to go back again. Okay. Sometime. But I and don't want to go for food. I just want to go for drinks. For drinks, desserts. right? Yeah. Um, yeah, they had some cool drinks. And the ambiance was good. It was just a really cool place. Just a very relaxed, you know, cool place. I had a good time there. We did some scoping there. So if you're on Periscope, make sure you follow um, both of us, actually, with Love, Razia J, and then I'm God's Design on Periscope. What else? I went to Long Island the other day to see a friend of mine. After church, I headed to um, Long Island where um, you guys know I was born. I moved from Long Island when I was about 15 years old compared to I mean compared to everywhere else I've lived I've lived here the longest so um, I'm with my friend Debbie um, she just went into Kid City um, with her daughter really quick uh, I'm really excited because um, I haven't seen her it's been about two years now since I've seen her since I was yeah two years ago yeah um, since I've seen her so I'm really excited we're like childhood friends I've been knowing her since I don't know I was like six or seven years old probably even really younger than that so that's why it's like really good to see her and um, we're gonna go out and get something to eat and then after that we're gonna go to um, I think she said it was like a, a party or a get-together or something 
So that should be cool. I think since the last time I've talked to you guys, I went to Maryland, I think. Yeah. Yeah, so it's it's been like a few things going on. Um what else has happened in the last few weeks that I can share? Have we done anything else? As you guys know, we go to Dallas BBQs like we go to Dallas BBQs. Did you send me the footage from that? Hey guys, how you doing? We're actually out. We went to Dallas BBQ to get some frozen contraption. That's all I can call them. And Patricia's back from Maryland. I really missed her. She left me for like, like five days. Five days. Look at her guys. Isn't she adorable with her twist? She looks alive. How do you look dead? She's being too hard on herself, but I'm about to have a drink. She's about to have her. Is that a margarita? Do you guys, what blog is that from, guys? They should know what blog that's from. Oh. Is that a margarita? No, what was it? Is that a margarita? No, there's not enough tequila. No. Is that not it? Alright guys, what blog what blog was that? What <laughs> blog was that? If you know what it is, you tell me. I'll send you a gift. Promise. Guys, listen, we're gonna start afresh. We're gonna start new. Um today, starting today, Tuesday, I'll make a promise to myself that I will vlog. She should. And um, I miss her vlogs, guys. <laughs> Thank you guys. Every Monday and Tuesday I go and check. And every Monday and Tuesday, I'm disappointed. <laughs> the only difference is that I see her in the flesh. Yeah, I'm like you guys. <laughs> guys, yeah. Hot mess. I just came back. We just came back from IHOP. Anyway, guys, I'm going to do better. I'm going to vlog. She is. All take, the time take, now. Take, so. don't, don't be so hard on her, you know? She's a full-time nurse. She works at a hectic hospital. <laughs> Most of the time she comes home and she's practically dead. <laughs> so give her give her give her give her a chance to like get in the swing of things. Oh so, yeah, and I miss it too. I do. So we're gonna get lives our lives together. Well, and, definitely um, she's gonna get her life together. <laughs> and um, we're gonna do this together guys. So for now, I'm gonna sign out. And I'll see y'all. What up, guys? I was going to say good morning, but it's actually good evening. Um, it's Friday, and I'm off of work, and it's an awesome thing. Um, I just got back from Whole Foods, did some grocery shopping, um, just got some fruit, some things to bring to work, and um, also some water. I've been trying to, and successfully, um increasing my water intake because for whatever reason that went down um i don't know really since i've gotten here i haven't been drinking that much as much water as i'm used to drinking usually like the first thing i do in the morning i just chug like 16 ounces of water and then it just continues throughout the day so i've been water was actually on sale that was really all i did today i also got my eyebrows done so there's that. This lady, I love the way she does my brows. This is the second time she's done it. And she's just been killing it. I love it. So, <clears throat> um, anyway, as you guys know, I'm going to be leaving here soon. And just like every transition, you guys have been with me from St. Louis to D.C., from D.C. to L.A., and now you guys are going to... And then you guys did... LA to New York with me and now you guys are gonna do New York to the next place I'm gonna go <laughs> so with, the, with every transition like the, every transition brings like a something just something so this transition has brought so it's like a little kid crying I don't know if you guys can hear that but every transition brings like some challenges and this one has definitely brought some challenges for me and there's a lot up in the air right now but um i don't know i'm looking i'm hopeful for whatever this next transition is gonna bring um i'll give you guys my closing thoughts on new york once i actually leave um 
and once I really gather what this experience brought me because it brought me a whole lot of randomness um so I don't know we'll see we'll see I will talk about that a little later um there's nothing set in stone I have not signed a contract I haven't done interviews at this point in time but I have sent out or my recruiter has sent out um applications uh for me for my next position so should be interesting I um another thing I want to mention because hopefully I'll post this I'll post this this Sunday on time I'll put that out there right now I'm going to post this on Sunday on time and um so Friday coming up um and you guys will see it on next week's vlog Sunday is I will be at Gener Generation Beauty New York City exclusive you know vlogger um cocktail party that's going to be on friday those are that's an invite only whatever so but if you happen to you know be watching and you were invited i'll see you there because <laughs> i'm gonna be there prompt um i'm gonna skip saturday and then i'll be there sunday um because i'm gonna go to church on saturday sunday i'll be there um at the expo conference you know meet and greet youtuber all you know main event where there's gonna be you know vendors and all that kind of stuff where you get to meet brands and companies and and the people who watch and people you watch so it's gonna be really awesome i got to meet some of my favorite vloggers you know um last year i met you know um judy from it's judy's time and it's judy's life and i you know i don't watch her vlogs as much anymore but I just love her foundation reviews. I absolutely love her foundation reviews. I met Jackie Ina, um, also known as Makeup Game on Point. So I'm looking forward to meeting more vloggers this year. This year, and 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 mostly, I'm not gonna lie. I'm 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 looking forward to free makeup. I'm just I'm just gonna say, um, I haven't been making a habit of buying makeup lately. So being given it and being able to experience and test and trial on someone else's dime. <laughs> is a good time for me so anyway guys i'm gonna go ahead and continue what, I, what i'm actually doing is i'm watching um a vlog i'll show you watching miss sandy from the socialite life tv and um that's basically it guys that's basically it i don't know what i'm gonna do this weekend i work sunday so saturday night is like you know when you work in the morning you have to get up at 4 30 to go to work like kind of cuts your Saturday night short so I don't know hey guys good evening it's Sunday evening and just came home from work it was actually a really good day at work um I just took out my twist and washed my hair headed to bed but I'm gonna have a snack before I go to bed um from Whole Foods and have me some a drink with that and then I'm gonna check out um this weekend I really didn't do anything I know I didn't vlog uh Saturday. I don't think I vlogged Saturday. Or maybe I did. I don't know. Um, I didn't end up going to church Saturday. Um, I ended up watching um, my one of my home churches. Um, the church that I was attending in Alabama. That's actually where my membership is still and I still pay my tithes to that church. Um, I actually watched their service online because to be honest I was feeling kind of um, I wouldn't say I don't want to say homesick but kind of I don't know I was kind of missing like Alabama I was missing like just my life there I found myself looking back at pictures and and stuff so I was just kind of missing it so I ended up watching um, uh, the service online which um, I actually really really enjoyed and there were some things that I really needed to hear from God that I feel like was hand delivered to me in the sermon that my pastor preached, so I really appreciate it. Casually weed yourself off of it. You've got to declare, I'm done with this, and I'm done with it once and for all. I'm finished, no more. Don't call me, I won't call you. Forget my number, disappear. When you see me, don't even talk to me. As a matter of fact, if you see me coming in your direction, cross the street and keep it moving, because I'm done with you, and I'm over, and it's never gonna happen again. Can I preach to the church right here? There are some things, there are some people in your life, you should not weed them out of your life. You should shut the door and never talk to them again. You don't want no more to do with it. Then God is going to give you the victory over it. So first God says, you are the
anyway guys i want to wish you a a good day good evening good week whenever it is that you're watching i love you guys so much for supporting the videos and the videos are back on schedule back um weekly so check back every sunday you'll see me here so let me know how you guys are doing down in the comment section since it's been a while since i've heard from you guys while i've been away i've been responding to comments so if you guys have seen like you know that I'm responding from comments from vlogs and vlogs ago it's because I'm trying to get caught up um, on comments so I hope you guys are doing well I hope you guys are in good spirits and I'll see you guys next week